according to my extensive research, 455 million websites are using WordPress. 455 million. Now, you would think that with WordPress being so popular, it would be really secure and safe against hackers, right? Well, not quite. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to hack them. Before we start hacking WordPress, we need to know a bit more about it. If you've not heard of WordPress before, it's the most popular way to create websites with little to no coding needed. It's a content management system, also known as a CMS. A CMS is a tool that helps to build websites without the need to code everything from scratch. In fact, most web hosting providers provide an easy one-click installation of WordPress. This means that literally anyone can start to create blogs, portfolios, business websites in a matter of minutes. Some of the world's biggest brands are using WordPress to run their websites. Sites such as TechCrunch, Sony Music and Disney. So that is the core WordPress application. Now from here, users will want to customize their website. The first thing that people usually do is install a custom theme. A theme changes the way your website is designed and looks. Here is the same website with the default theme on the left and a custom theme on the right. As you can see, themes can really change the look and the feel of a website. After installing a new theme, users can choose from a huge library of plugins. Now these plugins provide all kinds of features from contact forms, to even fully fledged e-commerce stores. So these are the main components that make up a WordPress website. You have the core WordPress application, themes and plugins. The problem with WordPress is it can be a nightmare to keep everything up to date and secure. But if you don't, very quickly vulnerabilities can be discovered in your plugins, themes and even in WordPress itself. Then attackers can use these vulnerabilities to hack your website. Okay, so now that's the theory done. Let's see this live and in action. The way we're going to do this is by using our partner, Hack the Box Academy, who is sponsoring this video. Hack the Box Academy has tons of free and premium training available, including this one on WordPress hacking. This is one of their premium modules, but they have given me special permission to take you through it. They have a built-in browser-based hacking machine and target WordPress server ready for us to hack. Of course, you don't need to use Hack the Box for this. It just makes things a lot easier as we don't need to worry about installing virtual machines, web servers, or WordPress. So I'm currently on the WordPress hacking skill assessment section at the end of this module. As you can see, we have our attacker machine down here, a target IP address to hack, and a bunch of questions to test your skills learnt from this module. Now I already have the machine loaded, so I'm just going to click this button to open it full screen. So this is our target site. We first need to run some enumeration to find out if it's first running WordPress, and if so, which version of WordPress is it running? We're also going to want to find out which plugins and themes are installed. So the easiest way to do this is to use a tool called WP Scan. WP Scan can do lots of really great things, including showing us some very useful information about a website. Assuming you already have WP Scan installed, which if you're running Power OS or Kali Linux, then it is. We just need to open up a terminal and I'll just make that a little bit bigger to make it easier to see. Drag our site over so we can still see it. And the command that we need is WP scan to specify the tool, then dash dash URL. And then we just need to copy the target website address. So we'll click over here, copy, right click, paste. Perfect. Next, we need to type dash dash enumerate. This tells WP scan what to look for. Now, different options here will scan for particular things, for example, plugins or themes. But leaving it just as dash dash enumerate gives us the default mix, which shows us all of the important stuff, 
but without bogging us down with absolutely everything. And the last part of this command is adding the API token. So we type dash dash API dash token and then we're going to need to add our API token. This is an API token that you can get from the WP Scan website. You need to register for an account, but then you can get a free API token, which gives you access to their huge database of WordPress, plugin, and theme vulnerabilities. So I'm just gonna copy mine in real quick. Your token will be completely different. And that's it, that's the command. So we'll press enter, and that will take a few minutes to run. Once finished, we see a lot of really great information. So let me just scroll back up to the top so we can start there. All the way to the top. So the first few sections will show us some potentially interesting information such as the headers and if something called XML RPC is enabled. If we scroll down a little bit further, we should see the WordPress version. So this is using WordPress version 5.1.6. It also tells us that this is in fact an insecure version and it was released in 2020. And because we added our API token, WP Scan was able to find eight vulnerabilities that we could potentially use against this version of WordPress. If we have a look down here, we can see things like protected page exposure, object injection, and SQL injection. So if we continue to scroll past the WordPress vulnerabilities, we should then see the theme that is installed. So WordPress theme is using 2019. Now this is one of the default WordPress themes. Next, if we scroll down, WP Scan lists any potentially vulnerable plugins. Not only does it list the plugins, but it also lists any information that it has that we could use to potentially take advantage of it. As you can see, we see a few plugins and vulnerabilities here. There's a plugin called Email Subscribers with some vulnerabilities. Another one called Site Editor with, again, a vulnerability. The Events Calendar with two vulnerabilities. And if we start to scroll further past the plugins, we'll start to see things like media, backups, and last but definitely not least, user accounts identified. Okay, great. So let's recap what we've learned about our target. It's running WordPress version 5.1.6, which is vulnerable to exploits. It's using the theme 2019. It has a few vulnerable plugins installed, the email subscriber, site editor and the events calendar plugin and finally we have some user accounts so we have erica admin and charlie well that's all well and good but what do we do with all of this juicy information well it's time to do some hacking we're going to cover a couple of different ways that we can approach this first let's look at the plugins so if we scroll up back to the plugins there are lots of vulnerabilities here, but the one that's particularly interesting is the local file inclusion vulnerability under the app site editor. Now a local file inclusion, if you're not familiar, allows us to see files on the web server that we shouldn't really have access to. It can even let us run files remotely on that web server. So let's explore this a little bit more. Now, as I mentioned, WP Scan gives us some really useful links to more information about vulnerabilities. Now, looking at this list here, the one with full disclosure in the title looks particularly interesting. So if I open this, we'll be taken to a website where we can see the full details about this vulnerability. And they even are kind enough to provide us with a proof of concept. So what this is saying is go to this location to see if it's vulnerable. So I'll just copy that last part here. So just after the host address, copy. And if we go back to our website and pop that over at the end, so paste that in, 
hit the enter button. And yes, we have successfully exploited this vulnerability. We have just read a file on the web server listing all of the web server's users. So that is how we can scan for and exploit vulnerabilities. Now in this example, we used a plugin vulnerability, but the same process can be used for WordPress vulnerabilities and theme vulnerabilities as well. Now we could continue this attack and try to gather more information or get a better foothold, but I wanna move on to a different example. Probably one of the most common attacks on a WordPress site is brute force attacks. Now a brute force attack is where you try lots and lots of passwords very quickly hoping to find the correct one and if all goes well, get administrator level access. Now most websites restrict the number of login attempts. Now I'm sure we've all been locked out of our accounts before, but WordPress installations does not do this by default. Meaning unless the admin has added some sort of security setting or plugin, we are free to try as many passwords as we want. Now there are a few different ways that we could do this. However, we're going to keep using WP scan. So first let me come out of here and back to our blog site and back to our terminal, scroll down. And the command we're going to use is sudo. So we can run this with elevated permissions, WP scan, dash dash, password, dash, attack, space, X, ML RPC. So the reason we type this is because there are two ways to brute force a WordPress website. The first way is to use the standard login page, or we can use XML RPC, which is the WordPress API. Now we're using XML RPC because it's quicker. Now the next part is dash T 20. And again, this is just to try and speed things up and make things as fast as possible. This is increasing the number of threads running at the same time. Now we're going to type the usernames that we want to try to hack. So we type dash capital U. So we're going to try Erica and comma to try to admin. So this is us specifying which users we want WP scan to try and brute force. Now we need some sort of password list a list of passwords for WP scan to try. Now you can use any password list you like, but I'm going to be using the rock U password list that contains over 14 million different passwords. Now, if you're following along with hack the box, the command is dash capital dash capital P. Sorry, I accidentally press enter there. The location is OPT useful sec lists, passwords, leak databases, and rockyou.txt. Now, if you're not using hack the box, then you can still use this list. It's pre-installed in Kali Linux, or you can download it from the GitHub. Now, once we've added the user, the password list, then of course we need to add the target website. So dash dash URL. And again, I'm gonna copy that address from here. And make sure there's a space there. And now I'll press enter. So now WP scan will run through its checks and then start to brute force the millions of passwords in the rock U password list. I'll speed this bit up for now and hopefully we'll find a match. And yes, after a few moments, we find a matching password for Erica. We can see that over here where it says valid combination found. So the username is Erica, as we know, but the password is 010203. So we should now, in theory, be able to use these credentials to log into this WordPress website. So let's try that now. The default URL for the login page is the web address, then forward slash WP dash admin, enter. And here we have the WordPress login page. So the user is Erica and the password 
is 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. And the moment of truth, we'll hit login. And yes, we are logged in. Now we have complete admin access to this website. We can see the dashboard, posts, pages. We can see users, settings, everything that we could possibly want. If you want to take this a step further, the WordPress hacking module on Hack the Box Academy takes you through all of what I've shown you here so you can try yourself. They also show you how you can take this attack even further and get access to the web server itself. This module is part of their certified bug bounty hunter path. So if you like this video, you are really going to love the bug bounty hunter training. You can sign up using the links below. That's it for WordPress hacking. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe. Support from you guys really helps this channel grow. Other than that, thank you for watching.